Hey everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech. If you're looking to sign out of Apple Music on your iPad, there are a few different ways to go about it depending on what you're trying to do. Maybe you just don't want to use the app anymore, or maybe you want to fully disconnect your account from Apple Music. Let's go through the options. If you simply don't like the Apple Music app and don't plan on using it, the easiest solution is to delete the app. Just press and hold the Apple Music icon on your home screen, then tap Remove App. Once you delete it, it won't take up space on your iPad and you won't have to deal with it. Of course, you can also just ignore the app and not open it. But if you prefer a cleaner setup, removing it is a quick fix. Now, if you want to cancel your Apple Music subscription, you'll need to do that through your iPad's settings. Open settings, tap on your name at the top, then go to subscriptions. Find Apple Music. And from there, you can cancel the subscription. Keep in mind that even after canceling, your subscription remains active until the end of the billing period, so you'll still have access to your music until then. Also, if you have other devices using the same Apple ID, they'll lose access to Apple Music as well once the subscription officially ends. If you just want to stop your iPad from syncing with your iPhone's music library, you don't need to cancel anything. You can simply turn off Sync Library. To do this, open settings, scroll down and tap apps, then select music. From there, toggle off Sync Library. This will prevent any new songs, playlists, or albums from showing up on your iPad while still allowing you to keep Apple Music active on your other devices. That's it. Depending on what you're looking to do, you can delete the app, cancel the subscription, or just disable syncing. Hopefully, this helped clear things up. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Fox Tech for more Apple tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you later.